How's it going, everyone? Um, welcome to my first vlog episode for Life in FPV. I want to talk about uh, how I got into FPV a little bit, and I am currently grounded, so to speak. I uh, ran out of money, so I thought I would just talk about how I got into FPV, um, why I ran out of money, and um, maybe help some of you trying to get into this. I'm a total noob. I've only been doing it for about three months and yeah, I've wasted a lot of money. I guess that's the topic. Um, anyways, my first project in, into this wasn't really FPV. I didn't really know much about FPV at the time, but I was really into electronics. Uh, I was messing with Arduino and I built a little autonomous Arduino car and um, thought it was pretty cool. And then I always kind of was interested in quadcopters. I've only had toy ones uh, up, well, at the time. And I always thought they kind of sucked or I was, I sucked or whatever um, at flying. And yeah, they were just cheap toys. Um, but I was always interested in, in maybe getting a DJI Phantom or uh, Mavic or something like that, but they're extremely expensive. And if you crash it once, that's a huge investment. So I was kind of just looking into building my own. Um, I like to, you know, build things, create things. Um, so I thought, hey, that's a good route. Maybe I'll save money that way. Um, so I ended up just uh, going on YouTube, doing research, learned about building an F450 DJI clone and bought all the parts that I needed on Amazon and put it together. Uh, it wasn't that hard. I was a total noob at soldering. So if I look at the solder joints on that compared to uh, stuff I've been currently doing on my racing drone, there's a huge difference. Um, most of those welds on there probably won't hold up on, on that bigger quadcopter. But uh, from uh, at that point, I decided uh, to check out Tiny Whoops because they're small. I could fly them inside and it's always windy here in North Texas. So <clears throat> I ended up buying a Blade Inductrix, uh, just the ready to fly one. Came with a little uh, transmitter and enjoyed it. Uh, I then put a FPV camera on it, of the little all-in-ones. And um, I didn't buy actual FPV goggles. I, I actually bought a receiver for my phone and then use like a Google Cardboard style um, or it's just VR goggles, cheap VR goggles and um, use the FPV on that. And so I really enjoyed flying Tiny Whoop and <clears throat> getting into um, just maybe racing drones. So I set a goal for myself. I really wanted to, to in a year fly in an actual local racing event. Um, so that's kind of my goal. I'm, I'm going to try to document this journey. Um, and so back to why I think I've wasted money. And that's because I've spent a lot of money on cheap stuff and the cheap stuff doesn't really work out. I've, I've bought boards that just didn't work. They were dead on arrival, uh, spent hours and hours troubleshooting things. Um, and just, I would buy something really cheap on Banggood and it just, just, ne it always had problems. I was never happy with it. So more research I do now, I probably should have saved all my money and bought, actual like tested good hardware that everyone recommends. Um, I, I know because I've wasted so much 
time and energy and just hard earned money that I'd probably be outside flying right now if I actually bought quality parts, quality hardware, um, electronics, stuff like that. And I mean, in, in a way, by going cheap and buying, say, a FlySky transmitter, you're kind of limited on a lot of builds. Uh, where if I would have spent an extra hundred dollars and got a Tyrannus um, or FR Sky, I have way more options on what I could just buy and and fly instead of um, trying to piece together all these parts and and having a lot of problems. Right now, I I decided that I am going to get a flight club Tokyo SX frame and I already bought DYS F4 Pro flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC for it so it's stackable it's easier there's a lot less wiring involved um, a bunch of people love it on aren't having really any issues with it um, the only issues I've noticed is when people are trying to run beta flight 3.2 since it's real buggy still um i think that's where a lot of issues are caused but i think if you used um the most current stable releases it, everything's fine i don't think there's any issues there but then again i'm just i'm just a noob this is my progress or a, i guess a journey of of me from complete noob to hopefully become a professional or just uh, expert flyer pilot in, in this field. Um, so <clears throat> I guess what I'm trying to say is save your money by really good hardware. Um, get a, a real alien frame instead of a clone or, um, you know, spend more money on, on a really good flight controller instead of a cheap $30 one. Um, just quality control is going to be better. Um, I mean, I think that's the the same reason why Mr. Steel still uses all the old KISS stuff because it's just works. It works for him. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I mean, they, the, <clears throat> the industry so new, I, and and everything's about experimenting and pushing the limits right now that's always a good thing but at the end of the day i'm stuck here and i can't fly and it's annoying because i i, I don't have good solid hardware and i've wasted a lot of money to come to that point um you know i almost recommend just buying like i'm really into the flight club stuff because they're local their products are great. Everyone who flies them loves them and they, they know what they're doing and their stuff's tried and true. Um, so I'm going, if I would start all over again, I would spend the $700 to get a quality transmitter, get the already or almost ready to fly build from flight club or rotor riot or any of these bigger companies lumineer and and tr just fly uh at the end of the day that's what we want to do right we just want to fly um i'm i i mean i do love tuning and i and i do love the do-it-yourself part and building but at the end of the day you should love to fly more i think um so basically it sucks because I have a few quads here and I don't have FPV goggles at, at the moment. So I'm saving up money. Um, I just bought a brand new house and got married, had to pay for a wedding, um, went to see Metallica for my birthday and then spent a lot of money on drone stuff. So I ran out of money. <clears throat> but Here's another thing I, I recommend is I got a flight simulator or drone simulator on Steam called Liftoff. And there's another one that isn't on Steam, but you could search for it or I'll put a link to it below. It's called FPV Freerider and it's it's really great. Um, 
if you have a transmitter you, with the USB adapter, you plug it in and you use it as uh, the, as your controller. So you can basically practice with the actual transmitter you're going to use. And if you crash, it's not a big deal. It's a flight simulator. Um, this could save you hundreds of dollars in field repairs and just getting comfortable if you've never flown before. Um, try a flight simulator first. I've l I literally have over 20 hours in flight simulator and actually 25. Um, and I still think I suck. So um, I also hear a lot of people say it's completely different. Um, I'm, I don't blame them. I'm pretty sure it is because uh, I don't think you can you can uh, replicate the different quad setups and and your exact setup. I mean, it's just like you could take all the identical parts and stuff and build two quads and they would fly different. Um, you have to basically, from what I've researched and what I've heard, is you have to basically tune every quad differently, even with identical hardware. So same thing the racing simulator or the flight simulators aren't going to be perfect but i think they're good enough and they've helped me understand how to fly acro mode and before i was stuck on uh level or horizon and i was scared to go acro so by using the simulator i was able to learn how to fly acro and had fun and I'm sure as, as soon as I get um, my quad build up and running, I won't be able, it, it'll be different. I'm sure I'll still crash, but I'm a lot more confident in my stick control. I'm more confident in just flying in general. So I, I highly recommend liftoff or FPV Freerider. There's a, another one on Steam um, from DRL, Drone Racing League. But it's really, really alpha right now, and it's it kind of sucks, in my opinion. The UI is horrible. There's no mouse support, so you basically have to use your controller um, or the keyboard to just navigate to get to where you're going. The physics feel off. Um, way worse than any of the other flight simulators. But it's free, and they release a new version or an update to it, I think, once or twice a month so it's not too bad um other than that i think uh yeah i'm just i'll give you updates on as i do my build um i can't wait to get out and fly so hopefully i'm gonna pick up some decent fpv goggles soon so i can at least fly my tiny whoops again and yeah um thanks for tuning in and like and subscribe and i know this is really uh, new to me so I'm just trying to get this content out there and, and document my journey into becoming an FPV pilot so I hope you all liked it and take care